If you think of working docks, you almost immediately think of grey dock cranes. The cranes shown here were made by the famous crane builders Stottert and Pitt of Bath. They supplied their earliest electric powered crane to Southampton Dock Authority in 1892. Electric power provided several advantages. Powerful motors could be placed in each crane and powered centrally without requiring a separate prime mover, steam engine and boiler in each crane. The crane mechanisms were also lighter, allowing them to be placed on raised carriages that could then straddle a railway freight line rather than requiring a bare strip of unused quayside between the railway line and the harbour wall. Most importantly, electric cranes were mobile along the dock edge on their own rail lines. This meant that rather than ships queuing for a single berth alongside a fixed crane, cranes could be brought to each ship's hold hatches as needed. According to one crane operator at Southampton, it was hugely relaxing sat atop one of these sleeping historical giants watching the sun go down whilst the dock was busy and loud. However, the requirement for dock cranes have moved on with modern containerization and the weight limit of 10 tons that these were built to carry was soon exceeded and one of the cranes actually buckled whilst in use, sealing their fate.